Hello everyone, I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Update. Thanks for joining us as always. It's Professional Development Week and the theme this year is Managing for Results. The theme aligns with government's mandate to deliver services that are efficient, cost effective and deliver results to the public. Now some of the topics discussed includes governance, leadership, accounting and it features a number of keynote speakers. The event is said to provide great networking opportunities with some exciting giveaways and an exhibit hall. Professional Development Week is organized by the Cayman Island Society of Professional Accountants and the Civil Service College, including government. Well, International Men's Day is not until next week on November 19th, but already Premier the Honorable Alden McLaughlin has made his pledge. Take the Cayman Pledge with me this November. I, Alden McLaughlin, am happy to take Cayman's pledge to commemorate International Men's Day and this year's theme of working together for men and boys. I believe that we as individual men and boys should have a set of standards that overarches everything we do in life. As men, if we show our boys the way to go, they will become men who will then be able to pay it forward. Organizers at the Family Resource Center are asking men and boys to make a commitment to hold themselves to a high standard and take the Cayman Pledge, which challenges men to think about the kind of contribution they wish to make this month and how they can be role models. For more details on what activities are taking uh, place on International Men's Day, you can go online to their Facebook page at facebook.com slash Family Resource Center. That's Family Resource Center. Center is spelled C-E-N-T-R-E. As we reported yesterday, the much-talked-about disability policy was approved by Cabinet back on October 7th. Director of the Sunrise Adult Training Center, Sherry Smith, explains just who falls under the disability category. The policy actually defines disability, and what we look at, it's not just limiting it to people who may have physical disabilities, but it encompasses physical, it encompasses um, cognitive, it encompasses... Um, individuals who have multiple disabilities. It, could it also encompasses persons who may have a temporary disability. So, you know, you get in an accident and you have to be in a wheelchair. How do you get access to your, you know, your workspace and, and so forth? Um, so it's quite a wide, ra wide range, you know, persons who are hearing impaired, visually impaired, and, um, you know, them being able to use service dogs and, you know, making sure that we have the right kind of traffic lights so that the those who are blind can still hear that they're not supposed to walk across the road. Um, so it's for everyone, you know, basically. Um, but disability is just not the person in the wheelchair. And I think sometimes when we think of disabilities, we think, you know, that's the picture that we, we come up with. Um, we have a lot of individuals in our country who are very active, um, adults and young people. And, you know, I hate to say, I mean, I don't like saying it, but you know, they look like me and you. You can't look at someone and see that they're disabled. Um, and so you have to, you know, don't make assumptions. And so therefore, making sure that we have things in place for everybody. Again, the implementation of the disability policy and associated legislation will set the foundation for the Cayman government to request via the United Kingdom that, you, that the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities be extended to the Cayman Islands. Meantime, a reminder about the minimum wage survey. The advisory committee is encouraging everyone to do the survey as the first deadline, uh, December 1st deadline, rather quickly approaches. The survey also, also asks respondents for qualitative information as well as their opinions on establishing a minimum wage. You can complete the survey by going online to education.gov.ky slash minimum wage. Again, that's education.gov.ky slash minimum wage, or you can complete the survey manually at any of the public libraries. Recently, a series of young image makers workshops wrapped up. The introductory workshops were a creative educational initiative by the Cayman National Cultural Foundation. The Department of Commerce and Investment also supported the classes held at Mind's Eye site and on the UCCI campus. A total of 17 young filmmakers ages 10 to 17 were taught by local film professionals who covered areas from treatments and screenwriting, pre-production and cinematography, as well as editing. The free workshops helped to prepare them for the Young Image Makers short film competition in January. For more details on the competition, you can go online to artscayman.org slash young hyphen image hyphen makers. Again, that's artscayman.org slash young hyphen image hyphen makers. Or you can give them a call at 949-5477. As always, if you missed today's newscast, you can get all the details on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. 
or you can watch CIG TV throughout the night. We also invite you to tune into Radio K Mans for the record and talk today's shows. That's week mornings and weekdays. For now, I'm Donna Bush. As always, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a wonderful and, of course, safe night. And I'll see you back here again on Friday evening. Until then, bye-bye for now.